Diego says I'm to meet him in the camp. Okay, in you go then. Any news? Nah, everything's the same as ever. What do you do all day? I make sure no one gets in if Gomez don't want them to. So don't make trouble when you're inside or you won't be going nowhere. among us who may enter the castle are those who supply the weed to Gomez. We gather swamp weed and sell part of it to the old camp in exchange for goods from the outside world. If you were one of the couriers working for Kor Kalo, you could get into the castle. But for that, you would need to be one of us. What do you want to do in the castle anyway? for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. Oh. And where did you get that from? The mages gave you that before they threw you in here, right? You were stupid to tell people about it. But don't worry. I won't tell anybody. But do yourself a favor. And don't tell anybody else about it either. The people here might slit anybody's throat for a thing like that. Most people would love to earn the reward you get for a message from the outside world. How's it going? I've spent the last two weeks working in the mine. All I want is peace. Get out of my sight. Is there anything more interesting than huts to see? Well, you can go to the arena in the evenings and watch the guards putting each other's faces out of joint. It really is worth the entrance fee. 
Who calls the shots around here? The ore barons. They organize the exchange of ore with the king. The more important you are, the more you get. How do I join this camp? Well, that's simple. Grab a pickaxe and get in the mine. Half of your ore gets spent for protection, and the rest will just about enable you to survive. The prices Gomez asks for his supplies is usury. Still, it's better than munching on rice all day like they do in the new camp. What's up? You'll learn soon enough. Be on your guard at all times, especially at night. I haven't slept properly for days. And if you don't sleep in this colony, then you're doing double time. What are the most important places here? Well, if you like to gamble, you have to go to the arena in the evenings. If you want to buy things, go to the marketplace. They sell practically everything there, except maps. You want maps? You better go and see Graham. His hut's the one just opposite the castle gate. Hey, you! How's it going? I've spent the last two weeks working it. Hey, you! How's it going? I've spent the last two weeks working. Is there anything more interesting than huts to see? Well, you can go to the... It really is. How's it... I've spent the last two weeks... New here, are you? I don't know your face. I'm Sly. I have a job on offer for a newcomer. You have a job for me? What is it? One of our guards has disappeared. He's called Neck. He might have gone over to the new camp. You're new here, and you'll get around quite a lot, so keep your eyes peeled. If you find him, I'll speak up for you in the camp. What good will your speaking up for me do? If you want to join the camp, you need people to speak up for you. If I speak up for you with Diego, that'd be a great help for you. I'll see if I can find him. If you meet Fletcher, ask him about Neck. He's taken over his district since Neck disappeared. Where will I find him? His district is the district of the arena. I told you bastards not to run through my hut. What's your problem? Leave me alone, man. Everyone's a problem with me. It all started when I built my hut. Don't build your hut close to the ditch, they said. But none of these bastards told me what would happen if I still did it. When I came back from the mine a few days ago, I had a second door. Those pigs, I hate them. I can't tell you how much I hate them. Now everybody runs through my hut. Every idiot. What's your... Leave me. It all stuck. Don't. But none of these... When I can't... Those... Now everybody... Hey, you. How's it going? I've spent the last two weeks working in... How's things? 
new here, are you? You better know that it's no good getting into trouble with the guards. When they want protection money, you better pay. Otherwise, half the camp will be against you. Hey, you! And how's things? There ain't enough room in this camp for the two of us. Pardon me? If it was up to me, you wouldn't last out here for long. Do you know why I'm here? I killed a dozen people in one night. Just like that. <laughs> hey, you! Are you talking to me? I'm warning you, people like you can get into trouble awfully quick round here. And most of the guys they chuck in here are bastards. They think they can do what they like to you, but we won't allow that. Gomez wants some peace in the camp, and we guards make sure he gets it. But it's a job that doesn't come cheap. That's why I'm asking you for some ore. Look on it as a kind of token of friendship. You help us, and we'll help you. If you get in trouble, we'll be there for you. Is that a threat? On the contrary, it's an offer of friendship. You mean you want me to pay protection money? No thanks. I can take care of myself. Have it your own way, kid. You'll soon regret turning down a friendly offer. See ya. Take care of yourself, kid. Hang on. I hear you've spoken to Bloodwind. Why? What do you want? It was real cool of you to refuse to pay him protection money. It means we're all gonna have to pay your share as well. I'll make sure you remember next time he asks you. Now you're done for! Nobody messes with my guys without to try that again and you're dead. Thanks for the ore. Of course, hero. a loser like you wouldn't have that. Nice weapon. Give it to me. Hey you, I learned you didn't want to pay protection money to Bloodwin. What do you want? To warn you, Bloodwin paid some people. They're gonna do you in. I saw how he talked to people like Herrick over there, and God knows who else he hired. Your warning about Herrick is a bit late. He must have talked to somebody else as well. That much I know, so do take care. Why did you tell me the story about Bloodwin? Because favors can be returned, and you don't look like somebody who wouldn't understand that. And because I did you a favor, I'd like to give you the opportunity to return it. What exactly do you have in mind? I don't have any ore left, and Bloodwin has already fleeced me as well. Now that I've helped you, you could give him the ten ore I owe him, couldn't you? Tell him it's from me. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, man. You just saved my day. Tell me when things are settled, will you?
Hey, you! Hi, I'm new here. How's things? Go away. I've been working my ass off in the mines for the last two weeks. And what for? Some sad lumps of ore is all I got. I had to spend most of it on food. I talked to Ball Parvis down there. He told me some interesting things about the sect camp. I think I'd better go there instead of slaving away for Gomez. You don't like it here? Why don't you just go then? Because I'm not quite sure what to expect there. I had a pal here. His name was Melvin. He headed off to the sect camp a week ago. But since then, I haven't heard of them. And as long as I don't get a message from him, I stay here. The sleeper be with you, stranger. I'm here to guide you onto the right path. Hey, you! I trade in swamp weed and potions from the sect camp. Do you want something? Sleeper? The sleeper speaks to us through dreams and visions. He has been leading us ever since he first made contact with Iberian five years ago. All the followers of the Brotherhood have renounced the three gods. We pray only to the sleeper for salvation. Salvation from what? From this goddamn place, of course. The sleeper will show us the way to freedom. What did the sleeper tell you? He guided us to the swamp, to the old temple ruins. That's where we built our camp. He gave us independence. None of us need to labor in the mines. He showed us what swamp weed can do. We sell it to the other camps, and in exchange, we get everything we need. And he gave some of us the gift of magic, of an old and powerful magic, which is different from the one the magicians of the realm use. gift enables you to control things with the power of your mind. Only the gurus of our brotherhood have been initiated into the secrets of this magic. And which is the right path? The path of the sleeper. He alone has the power to set us free. The gurus are preparing a great invocation in our camp. They want to get in contact with the sleeper. So far, he's just talked to us in visions, but now it's time to get in touch with him. We'll need as many supporters as possible for that. By focusing our spiritual power, we'll get through to him. Our camp is some distance away in the swamp. I can take you there, though, if you want. What would be the benefit of joining you? Maybe you're one of the chosen people who received the gift of magic from the sleeper. Or you might obtain the highest honors and become a Templar. Only the best fighters among us can obtain that position. If the sleeper is with you, you can even combine both. The best of the Templars receive the gift of magic as well. You see, our brotherhood has a lot of possibilities for you. You should be aware of that before you decide on joining any other camp. Hey, you! What is swamp weed? New here, are you? You can smoke it. Very relaxing for most of us. 
want to join the camp. I want to become a shadow. Oh, you're looking for a chance to prove your worth? Good. You can do me a favor. If you do it well, I'll speak up for you in front of Diego. What is it? In the sect camp, there's a man called Kalam. Quite a big shot. One of the gurus of the sect. Kalam is an alchemist. He has the recipe for an effective healing potion. I'd like to buy the recipe off him. Then, I can produce it myself. But nobody can get near Cologne. And what do you expect me to do? The set loonies are looking for new people all the time. You're new here. Just pretend you want to be recruited. Cologne is one of the gurus. That means he checks the new candidates. If you get in touch with him, try to get the recipe. Whether you want to pay for it or you don't, I don't care. Sounds like a difficult business. How much is in it for me? At some point, Diego will ask me if you're suitable for us. Just guess what my answer will depend on. Maybe I'll have to pay for the recipe. Give me 50 ore as an advance payment. Forget it. No ore, no recipe. Well then, we can talk about the ore as soon as you have the recipe. see ore right now or you can get your recipe yourself. There's enough other newcomers. I think I should give the job to one of them. Okay, let's just forget about the whole thing. Not so fast. I just wanted to know how far you'd go. 50 ore is quite a lot for a newcomer, don't you think? That sounds better. Okay, okay. I've just got 50 ore nuggets spare here. Don't let me down, kid. Where is the sect camp? Leave the camp through the south exit, then head eastwards. You'd better take a map. I got one here for 50 ore. The south exit is the collapsed tower, isn't it? Exactly. Show me your goods. I got the best stuff here. Show me your goods. I got the best stuff here. Ah, new face. What do you want? I want to offer you help. You're new here and the new ones always get into trouble. You can save yourself a lot by making a small donation. Just ten or a man. It ain't much to ask. And what do I get out of it? While you're in my district, I'll protect you. If you get into any trouble with the guys from the new camp, or if one of the sect loonies gets on your nerves, you can count on me. If you have bother with one of the diggers, we'll help whichever one of you has paid. It's as simple as that. And what if both have paid? Then we sit back and watch the show. But that don't happen too often. What if I don't pay? Hey man, don't stress yourself. You're a newcomer. Take a look around. Collect a bit of ore and when you're ready to pay, then pay. You can do it anytime, but don't count on my help until you've made your contribution to my expenses. I'm sure you'll understand. I'll see you later. Just you take care of yourself. Hey man, I'm Fisk. I trade goods of all kinds. If you ever need anything, you're in the right place here.
Have you got armor for me as well? Well, I'm sure that I can satisfy you. Show me your goods. Hey you! The right decision. Hey you! Hey the right decision. Hey newcomer, I'm Mordrag. You should remember that name. You can buy any kind of goods from me at a cheap price. Show me your goods. Choose something.
Hey, you! If you want to get rid of your protection money, you've picked the wrong day. Yeah? Why's that? Cause I'm not here! Oh? Where are you then? I'm actually at the castle, sitting by the big campfire, drinking a mug of beer. I see. Do you know where next got to? No, and I'm not likely to find out. If anything, the diggers in this district might know something, but diggers don't talk to guards. Especially not now they know I hate this filthy work. I bet they're laughing behind my back. Why don't you just collect some more protection money? Nick did his rounds before he disappeared. There's not much left to collect now. It's about Nick. Yeah? No news. Keep me posted. Hey, you. Who? Me? You know who I mean, Sonny. Let me tell you something. This is my district, and I don't want any trouble. But new guys like you are always trouble. Especially when they sneak around the place at night. So why don't you go home and make sure I don't see you here again? There's an empty hut opposite the arena, the one with the canopy. Get some sleep, and if I catch you in one of the other huts, I shall personally see to it that you live to regret it.
Hello. Hmm. I haven't seen you before. You are new here, aren't you? Just recently arrived. Have you already decided which camp you want to join? No. What do you think? Well, it depends. Each camp has its advantages, I guess. Until you've made your decision, you can stay here. A hut just became available. What are the advantages of the old camp? If you pay protection money to the guards, you can have a laid-back life here. They always interfere if one of the paying diggers is attacked. Besides, you can only get the goods from the outside world cheap here. These things are unaffordable in the other camps. And what if two people fight each other who both pay protection money? Then the guards just watch until one of them kills the other. Then they do him in. What goods are considered precious here? Everything from the outside world. Bread, cheese, and bacon, and above all, beer and wine. Not the cheap rice schnapps from the new camp, but really good stuff. You always get a good price for weapons, and armor is really expensive. The guards took the old armor off the prison guards after they killed them. You can always recognize them by their armor. They only sell it to other guards. You could never get a hold of one as an outsider. I think I've heard enough about the old camp. I like it here. What are the advantages of the new camp? If you're cool about getting your throat cut for a slice of bread, you should go there. No, it's not that bad, but it's different from here. Here, Gomez takes care that things are sort of peaceful. In the new camp, there is no law. The only ones powerful enough to have a say there are the water mages, but they're too busy studying the barrier all day. Why should I join the sect? Well, you'd better ask somebody from the sect camp. There are always a couple of novices in the camp, and I'm sure they can tell you a lot about the sect. It 
I've never been there myself, but according to everything that's said, they must be really generous. None of the three camps seems to be as much in need of new people as the sect camp. Which of the huts can I take for myself? The hut over there with the little canopy is empty. You shouldn't believe everything. Hey, you! What's your job here? I'm in charge of the arena. I organize the bets, hire new fighters. You know. I thought the old camp and the new camp didn't get on. So why do you let their people fight here? It's simple. There's fights here once a week, and the diggers always like to see one of the rogues from the new camp get flattened. If one of them fights, there's more bets, and that's good for business. Personally, I can't stand the swines from the new camp, but business is business. Do you train fighters at all? Yeah, but not just for fun. If you want me to train you, you'll have to pay for it. I want to join the camp. Can you help me? I might be able to, if you manage to impress me. Some of the best fighters from all three camps come here to compete against each other. Challenge one of them to a fight. I'll watch you, and if you're good, maybe I'll think about it. I want to place a bet. But there's no fight on. The next fight's due in a couple of days. There'll be an announcement. Hey, you! What are you doing here? Me? I'm fighting for the glory of the sleeper. What is the sleeper? You will find priests who will be able to answer that question better than I can in our camp. I'll just tell you this much. The sleeper is our redeemer. He has led us to this place and he'll get us out of here. You mean you're waiting for your god to liberate you? Yes, and the wait will soon be over. A great invocation is currently being prepared. What kind of invocation is it you're planning? Our prophets say that the common invocation of the sleeper is the key to freedom. If you want to find out more about it, just come to our camp. Could you describe the way to your camp? There are always some novices around here in the old camp, willing to accompany newcomers like you to our camp. You only need to speak to them. You fight in the arena? I was sent here from the swamp by my masters to fight for the sleeper. I'll fight here for his higher glory, so all infidels can see how strong his power has made me. Hi, I'm new here. You don't say. Tell me about the outside world. It's been over a month since I heard anything from outside. I'm Kurgo. I fight in the arena. Are you good? At fighting? I haven't been doing it for long. But I've already won a fight. Okay. 
I'm new here. Who are you? I'm Kareem. You must have just been booted in here, or else you'd have heard of me. I'm the best fighter this damned camp has ever seen. I want to become a shadow. So? Can you help me? I wouldn't know how. How's things? Not bad. If you can cook well, you have many friends here. <laughs> Would you like some of my rice stew? Thanks. You could do me a favor. What can I do for you? You must be used to good food. I have a new recipe. Meat bug ragu a la snaff with rice and mushrooms. You can have as much as you want, but I still need three meat bugs and some hell mushrooms. Five should be enough. Sounds good. Then go and see you get me the things. The last one I sent just hasn't come back. Must have deserted to the new camp. Who was the guy you sent before me? His name was Neck. He was pretty discontented here. I think he's in the new camp now. I sent him to collect mushrooms, but he didn't come back. Where can I find meat bugs? Everywhere where there's garbage laying around. You should be able to find some at the deserted huts near the castle wall. Don't get confused by their ugly looks. Once cooked, they are tasty. Where can I find hell mushrooms? If you leave through the south gate, that's the collapsed tower. You'll see a plane directly in front of you. There's mushrooms growing there. New here? I haven't seen you before. I'll join you for a while, if you don't mind. I'm sure you'll need a friend. Why not come along? Great! We can talk while we're going. You don't look as though you'd just let anyone get into the castle. Only Gomez's men are allowed in the castle. If I gave you a certain amount of war, would you let me in the castle? For a certain amount. How much? Well, it'd have to take a while to count the ore. Long enough to make sure me and my boys are busy counting while you slip by. So tell me, how much? One thousand nuggets should be enough. A thousand nuggets? Well, you could join up with Gomez. That'd get you in the castle for free. I need to get into the castle. I have a letter here for the High Fire Mage. 
And you expect me to let you stroll inside the castle to hand it over and collect your reward? Yeah. Okay. Show me the letter. I'm not letting you handle it. Forget it. Okay, I've forgotten. I want to work for Gomez. Oh, yeah? And what makes you think Gomez will be interested in having you work for him? Diego says you decide who Gomez is interested in. Huh? If Diego thinks you're okay, why doesn't he take care of you? Look, let me explain. Diego's gonna test you. If he thinks you're good enough, I'll let you into the castle to see Gomez. Whatever happens after that is up to you, okay? I'll talk to Diego. Why don't you give me the test? It ain't that easy, kid. Any newcomer who wants to get anywhere needs a patron. That patron has to be one of Gomez's people. He'll test you. And if you fail, you're his responsibility. That's the law around here. There must be something you want done. No. The things we guards deal with are a bit above you, kid. You just stick to the task your patron sets for you. I'm quite capable of doing anything you tell me to. Oh, so you're intent on failing, eh? There is one thing that only someone who's not with Gomez can see to. But I'm warning you, you blow this and you'll be in mighty big trouble. I'm ready for your task. What I'm about to tell you is between you and me, and nobody else must ever hear about it. Understood? Sure. We have a problem with a guy from the new camp. His name's Mordrag. He's been stealing from the Ore Barons. Of course, that applies to a lot of the rogues in the new camp. But this guy has the nerve to come to our camp and sell our stolen goods to our boys. He's gone too far. But he knows I can't do anything about it. Why? Because he's under the protection of the mages. Sounds to me like a big it's hard to solve. A few years back, one of the shadows tried to stab a high magician of the Circle of Fire while he was sleeping. They found him later in the outer ring. He was scattered all over the outer ring. Why do the mages protect that Mordred? Because they use him as a gopher. Our local mages are in contact with the mages over in the new camp. They often send gophers back and forth. They're likely to become very unpleasant if I throw one of the gophers out of the camp or have him killed. What about me? What do you think the mages will do to me? Your new me. You'll be okay. But I'm responsible for what we always do. That's why it's vital that you keep your mouth shut. You want me to kill the guy? I want you to make sure I never see his face again. Okay, 50-50. I suppose we'll be 
enough for the two of us anyway. So, can I count on you? Count me in. All right, just tell me when you can start. Just arrived, Heavy. I'm Grim. I haven't been here for long either. I was rolling below before you. What's life like here? Easy going. As long as you pay your share of protection money to the guards. What do I have to do if I want to get admitted to this camp? Well, first of all, we have to become a shepherd. Therefore, we have to find somebody who supports you. Somebody who explains everything to you. Take your responsibility for it. If I was you, I'd try to keep close to the aid. I did my thing. It's quite all right. You'll be able to take the test of your feet. That's different from everybody. Then there'll be some other smaller tasks from other shadows. If you manage them, you'll be with us. What was your testimony? I can't tell you, man. You have to be silent about things like that here.
have to find that out by yourself. You manage to do that, you can help along your enemy. Just go to the outer ring and talk to them. Then you'll find out who's in the What about this time? I talked to a few people. And? Scatty has told me he's anxious to see how you come off against Kirby. He's anxious to see if you'll challenge Kareem. I think Sly's wrong about that. He was a real pain, that's true. But I don't think it went to the new camp. I really need to talk to Dexter. He's using you for his own business. There aren't any rules for the test. If you manage that, you're making a big step. The business of the warrior is not a job. He's not bad as a warrior. You should exercise if you really want to see Get on with it. There are still many things to do if you want to get anywhere here in the camp. Can you teach me something? Yes. I can teach you to improve your dexterity or your strength. Come back soon. There are many things you need to learn. Take care. Don't you have any plan of where you want to go? Could you please go quiet for a minute? Sure. you to give me a map with a route to the old mine. No problem. For you, only 20 ore. Hold on. Diego said you should give me the map, not that you should sell it to me. But I'm not interested. Have you any idea how difficult it is to make a map like this? 20 is my special price for Usually I take 50. Turn. Diego sent me. No problem. I'll pay for the map. Here, take the ore. Okay. You'll never get a map like this that cheap, believe me. We're walking in circles. I mean, I don't know where you want to go. Could you please keep quiet for a minute? Sure. working in the mine, I can't really complain. And where do you get your ore from? I help people without problems. If you get into trouble with influential people here, 
I can help you sort the thing out. Could you tell me which of the shadows belongs to the influential people here? You ought to impress the right people, do you? Diego has the most power of all the shadows. He'll trust fingers, whistle, and sly. Dexter and Fisk sell their stuff on the market square. They have many customers, even the guards. And that makes them rather influential. And then there's Scatty. He's in charge of the arena and determines who fights and all that. Many people here owe him more. He's important as well. If I was in trouble, you could help me? How? Well, let's assume you're in trouble with Thoris. You better never get in trouble with him, but then, well, you never know. Thoris can be quite stubborn. When he's pissed off at you once, he'll never talk to you again. And that's a bad thing. As a greenhorn, you depend on him. So you come to see me. I know a lot of people here with Thoris listens to. They put in a good word for you, and Thoris is your friend again. Of course, the boys want to see some ore for these kind of favors. Your ore. And I take care that your ore gets to the right people. This is real fun. Thanks for taking me with you. We could do that more often. There's loads of more time left today. Already. We'll have much fun together. I'm sure of that, aren't you? Where do you sleep anyway? You can come to my place, no problem. I want to become a shadow. So? I'm looking for somebody to teach me something. Why have you come to me? Diego sent me. You should have said that before. If you want to join the camp, it's an advantage to be a good fighter or a thief. If the influential shadows in this camp test you, they'll give you tasks you better not get caught doing. That's why the way of the thief would be a good start to you. Incidentally, I'm the best thief in the whole of the old camp. What can you teach me? And that depends on what you want to know. I want to learn how to sneak around. I believe, no false modesty, that I'm one of the best thieves they ever chucked into this colony. But when it comes to teaching how to sneak around, Cavalorn is the better man for you. Where can I find Cavalorn? He's hunting out in the wild. You'll find him at the path to the new camp. Westwards of the old camp, there's a wide canyon. In this canyon, there's an old woodcutter's hut. You'll find him there. How can I improve my lockpicking skills? You'd like to know that, wouldn't you? It's not too difficult to begin with. Above all, you have to make sure that your lockpick doesn't break off. If you're a little bit more patient in future, you'll see that you won't need that many lockpicks anymore. You wouldn't speak up for me in front of Diego, would you? Yes. You've learned something which makes you quite useful to us. We can make use of skilled thieves in this camp here. You'll have my vote. Why'd they put you in here anyway? 
Do you like animals as well? <laughs> They're not into that one bit. That's why they locked me in here. Get lost. You want to be on your own for a while, do you? Uh, I understand. I'll stay in the background. Nobody ain't complained yet, but that would be a bad idea anyway. Every idiot here needs a sword, and that is what they get from me. How long does it take you to make one blade? That depends. I'm as fast as a hurricane with simple swords. Of course, only on condition that the price motivates me. A freak like Whistler usually has to wait longer for his toy than other people. Why? Doesn't he pay enough? No, on the contrary. He gave me 150 off for his last sword. The guy is into ornaments and girly stuff like that, and of course that's not cheap. Hey, you ain't curious at all, are you, pal? I'd like to try working here as well. Ah, but don't you think that you can make great blades? What do I have to do? Okay. Take the steel and hold it into the fire. Then you have to lay the red hot steel across the anvil. When you're finished, you put the hot blade into the water bucket over there to temper it. The cool blade finally has to be sharpened on the grindstone. I see. However, you'll need some things for that. I can sell them to you. Well, Smith, how's business? Why would you want to know? I may have an order for you. Oh, really? And what? I'll think about it. Come back when you really need something, and don't get on my nerves. Those bastards from the new camp will be amazed when they get to know that I have a protector. They'll piss themselves. That'll be fun. <laughs> Normally, I'll finish people off quickly, but now they'll think twice. Could you please keep quiet for a minute? Sure. Get lost. You want to be on your own for a while, do you? I, I, I understand. I, 
People think I'm a complete lunatic. But somebody like you would never hang out with a lunatic. People would talk about that, so they'll finally understand that they were wrong about me. Could you please keep quiet for a minute? Sure. I've only just got here. Then watch out. The outside world is pretty dangerous. You're only safe inside a camp. Hey, you! Hi. Move your ass! Get in or get out! I don't care! Just as long as you get out of my sight! here. <laughs> the others only want to get rid of me all the time. I'm really grateful to you. Get lost. You want to be on your own for a while, <laughs> do you? Uh, I, I understand. I I'll stay in the background. Chop you, you beast! I'll chop you, you beast! Listen, this running around is really getting tiring. Shouldn't we look for a cozy place and get comfy somewhere? I'll chop you, you beast! Like a big brother to me. I never had a big brother. 
or a small one. My parents didn't want me, but I'm sure it was difficult for them. Sure it was. as well that you finally found somebody who understands you. Right. I'm from Karina's. Have you ever been there? Time, <laughs> well, it doesn't matter anyway. That's really not my problem. Let's talk about something else instead. But keep it to yourself. People don't need that to wasn't very clever. clever. I'm some sort of visitor. It'd be polite if you gave me something. That's matters. My friends at Karina's taught me that. They really liked me. It's about Nick. Yeah? I think I found him. What? Where is he? Feeding the rats? Oh, no! Damn it! That means I have to run the show here now. I was hoping he'd be coming back. Now I have a problem. What's the problem? I'm in debt to Scatty, right up to my neck. Now he knows I'm doing next job. He'll be coming around every day. Get out of here again, would they? What you tell people. Could you please keep quiet for a minute? Sure. You have to watch what you tell people. You're very probably right. I wouldn't like to be in his keep it yourself. I have the things you wanted from me. Good. I just have to add them. Then the stew will be ready. Wait. You told me I could have as much stew as I wanted. And that's true. Here, take three portions.
Now that you're with me, we can show a few people where to go. These bastards have been harassing me for years. When I see one of them now, I'm gonna tell them a few things. <laughs> Could you please keep quiet for a minute? Sure. Team. We could take over the old camp. The Orb Barons wouldn't be a problem for us since we're a team. I'll think of a plan. Involved. That's really not my It was obvious that there would be trouble. Oh, that won't happen honest. again. Same old story. I doubt that's ever like that. Oh, I wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though, because that wasn't very clever. It's really not my problem. I have somebody to get in trouble. That's how it happened. going or is it supposed to be a surprise <laughs> I like surprises could you please keep quiet for a minute sure I'm new here. What do you want from me? I want to become one of you. I want to join the camp. Looking for people to support you, eh? If you want me to have a word with Diego about you, you need to do me a favor. What kind of favor do you want? I want one of Fisk's weapons. He's one of the traders at the marketplace. He won't sell it to me. It's a broadsword with ornaments. I'll give you 100 ore to collect the weapon for me, but don't tell him about me. Did you ever consider that I might just run off with the ore? Don't forget, the colony is small. If you run off with my ore, I'll find you. Why won't he sell the weapon to you anymore? We had a little argument. <laughs> and? And that's all you need to know. Okay, give me the hundred ore nuggets. I'll get the thing. Here you go. Come straight back to me. Don't pay attention to me. I'll stay with you. Don't worry.
I'd like to buy a sword, but not just a simple one. I'd like something more ornamental. I have one you'll like. The shadow who wanted to collect it won't be coming anymore. That'll be 110 ore. Interested? Yes, I'll take it. You got a good deal here. Don't you have any plan of where you want to go? Fisk wants 110 ore for his sword now. And you want me to give you the 10 ore now? I thought you wanted to have that sword. Here, take it, and now hurry. I have your sword. Wasn't too hard, was it? Whatever, you do me a favor and I'll do you one. If Diego should ask after you, I'll speak in your favor. Until then, have a good time. <laughs> How's it going? Good. You've done me a favor. I'll do you one. I'll tell Diego that you're a reliable man. Are you looking for a quiet place where we can talk for a bit or something? Get lost. You want to be on your own for a while, do you? Uh, I understand. I'll stay in the background. I paid Bloodwin. Yeah? Great. Then we're quits now. Yeah, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. We're walking in circles. I mean, I don't know where you want to go. 